What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Trail Militia. This is a uh, Winter Jamboree, day three, and we're out here, baby. Uh, we're hitting uh, ledges. Uh, it's not looking very promising. We're definitely the hill. A whole bunch of people back down on this trail, and uh, looking at the rigs, man, the Bronco is gonna prove it today. So, uh, well, let's get after it and let's see how it goes, man. And luckily, I got my secret weapon with me, and uh, hopefully, he ain't <laughs> full of shit. So, <laughs> so yeah, go. like my man said, we just get the intro in. But the Bronco, again, it's out here by itself, completely stock, and the vibes haven't changed here at Sand Hollow. It is Winter Jamboree, day three. We are going to Ledges, which is a step up from both of the trails we've done. Mark's here, Casey's here. Jeep Gate Stories went to go do Double Sammy, but the vibes are real. So today we're diving into Ledges. I am feeling a tad better than the last couple of days, so you'll see me running around a lot more today, and uh, we're gonna have a good ass time. Again, Ledges is about a seven, maybe an eight, if you do all the spicy things. Mouse traps in there, there's some sand and everything, so it's gonna be a good one today. And uh, we're gonna put the Bronco to the test. It's been doing really, really well. A couple scratches here and there, but nothing major. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make some more believers, but we're gonna air it down, get ready, and then we're gonna pop it off. Let's just, right, let's go. Alrighty team, so we had the whole first breakdown, the X-shape broke down, but though, check this out. We're gonna have two six door Jeeps coming out with us. So the uh, company that makes them is bringing us JK and the JL. So that's gonna be sick. We're gonna see them wheel out at um, Legis with us. So it's gonna be a party, man. Let's get it. Alrighty team, so we're right at the entrance of ledges. Once you come up and over that first little bump, you're gonna come down to the first big ledges. So you come down two couple steps and then you come down to the big ledge right here. This one, if you are in a short wheelbase, the back ends usually kick out. So it kind of gives you the heebie-jeebies, but everybody in our group today, it either has a longer wheelbase or is in a six door Jeep. So it should be fine, but it still gets you like nose diving pretty hard. So it's gonna be fun to see the group come through it, but they're getting ready. They're waiting on a the few guys and then uh, we'll get you guys through it. So let's check it out. All right, here we go. The group's gonna start coming down. Our trail leader has a buggy and looks super sick. So he's gonna come down this part. Show you guys, he's obviously gonna walk it. You are coming downhill, so coming downhill always kind of sucks. You know, obviously using brakes and all that, the brake over and all that's really important. It's coming down now. There it goes, there it goes. All right, anything's coming down. object of this is like when the front drops in you let it roll just a little bit and then you stop it good job easy on the drop all right here we go let's mark goes good job see if the back end touches he should have a lot of clearance perfect all right here's one of the six by six this is the jk coming up Yo, you got mad belly here. Woo! That's so sick. Oh. Clean. All right, team, we just wrapped up the, the little ledges, but ledges is very similar to like cliffhanger and Moab where you're against the cliffside the whole time. The views are amazing. The crowd that we have today is sick. And then obviously the six door Jeeps are here. So we're gonna have a good time. These are completed. Let's keep moving. All right, so we just pulled up to the next obstacle here. So this is the pocket factor. This one dives you right in. And then there is a cliffside right there. So you gotta just take it kind of high, roll down, and then everybody drags bumper usually here. So we'll see how they do. From the first couple guys. Yeah, wheelbase was so perfect. Here they go. Nice. Yeah, they got all the approach. All right, it's a 3.9 to 
1992? No, Mark. Not so much. It's filled in. Forties and shorties marks coming up. One more driver mark. There you go. Easy on the back. Ooh, tire. Come at it too strong. All no, driver. Straighten it out. There it goes. Alright, so we just pulled up to the next little section. So this is the one that was tough for climbs here on ledges. You come up, there's one layer, and then there's a second layer. A couple guys already did it. The rest of the guys are coming up. He's on treps. JK, sounds like he has a V8. Let's see how he does. It's a little bump, roll into it. Ooh, got it nice and clean, nice. Then once you get to that second layer, you just crawl out of it. There you go. All right, comes another. There's a two door. Shorter wheelbase, a little scarier, but nothing too crazy. And I'm just staying and rolling into it. There you go. You did perfect. There it goes. Nice. A little more driver. Right there. Easy work. All grip, no slip. It's a lot of grip this time. It's nice. All right, comes Marky Mark. A little more driver. Right there. Just nice and easy momentum. A little more. A little more. There it goes. Easy work. Straighten it out, right there. Go ahead, roll into it now. Go ahead, go, more, a little bit more. More, more, more. Now, back up, back up. You gotta roll into it a little bit. R stop, uh, right there, just roll into it. Don't go crazy, just roll. Yeah, just roll into it. A little more driver, right there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're good now. Nice. Easy work. All right, here comes one of the 6 by 6s This one does have an LS, too, so. Negative. 
like at xtc.com. Check them out. So sick. So easy. So much wheelbase. are coming up right all right it comes to 392 so there's a little drop right here you have to let it roll the back end feels gross there you go Good job, Mark. Oh, yeah. Good job. Well done. Didn't feel perfect, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, comes a six by six, different angle. See how it goes. He has the wheelbase, so there's nothing to be afraid of when it comes to dropping or really climbing, honestly. This ledges trail is kinda made for them. It's kinda sick. LS airbags. Six doors. Let's go. As long as there's space, you can definitely wheel it. Nice. All right, so we just pulled up to Pivot Rock, and then right after Pivot Rock, we have another little location right here that you just have to climb up and over. There is sand though, so it makes everything really slick. Mark, use the ramp. No, not the ramp. That's how you do it. Roll into it. You just gotta roll into it, Mark. Nice. Once you get the front up, just roll into it. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right there, roll into it. Nice. Perfect. 
Alrighty, guys, just wanted to break down what's going on here. So after we hit that obstacle and uh, we got up and over, we were sitting down kind of waiting for the rest of the team. They do have spotters and everything during events like this. So as you can see here, um, they had a rollover on that same hill that we went up. I um, just want to show you, you know, that things do happen no matter where you're at. This trail was rated an 8. It was a very difficult trail if you're not used to wheeling this way, especially if it's like the first time in San Hollow. I'm not sure if this particular group had or not. They kind of stuck with us at the very, very end of the trail. But just want to show you the recovery here. Um, the teams, you know, hooked up the Jeep, flipped them the right way, and then they proceeded to take the spark plugs up and make sure that uh, everything was okay. So everybody was safe here. A couple bruises, I'm sure. But the Jeep was able to uh, finish the trail. So just wanted to show you the quick recovery, man. Uh, appreciate you guys sticking through the episode, and hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Let's finish up. All right, team, so after the rollover, we had lunch, and now we're here. This obstacle right here is tricky. You got to kind of stay in it. You see she's kind of having to work at it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get in here and knock this out. Let's go. See, so the grip there, because of the sand all over it, it's, you kind of have to just, like, roll into it all in one shot. As soon as you hit something, Damn. it keeps your momentum Up killed. Three and then turn. Yeah, That's what I just saw. Stop. There we go. He's going to give it another run at it. There it goes. Alright, next one up. Hell yeah, Mark. Good job. Passenger more. Right there. Go straight, then turn. Nice. Good job, Casey. Give it a solid shot, but he couldn't go up the line he wanted. Try the other side. He should be able to get this one. It's a little slick. It looks like we have iron, right? So here's the Jeep that actually rolled. They flip it back over, took the plugs out, everything was Gucci. Here we go. You know how you drove it before. Yeah, so stay more, stay more passenger, and then turn driver at the last little bit. Not a huge amount of damage, like the mirror, the top. I'm sure once they inspect it, some more stuff will be damaged. Oh, ouchie. Spice level is serious.
Nice. And then just roll into it after that front bites. Go. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Driver now. Baby. All right, we got another taker. Mark just made it up, but I'm gonna do it from up here this time. Once the front comes down, you can turn it back on. Hey, Steve, stop. I'm gonna try to start it. Yeah, start it. Hey, Kurt, just winch it. Yeah, why is he not winching it? Yeah, winch at the same time. Drive up. I'll drive a little bit. All right. There it goes. Nice. Good job. Nice. All right, so after the mouse trap, we got a few more obstacles, so we're not going to mount right now. Yep, start turning driver. Little bit, little corrections. Passenger now? More passenger? Driver now? What? Yeah, you're good?
big old girl right there. All right, so we went through a few obstacles. Um, we're kind of getting to the end of here of ledges. We and, think, um, hopefully. It's a... Uh, Yo, send help quick, please, bro. <laughs> this guy's on a different one. <laughs> Yo, there's just... Just listen to the podcast. I'm don't gonna, hit I'm me, gonna, bro. Don't hit me, bro. I'm going to talk about it on the podcast because now I'm upset. And I never get upset. I'm usually like, you know what? Let these guys do their thing. <laughs> and uh, today was on a whole different level of like, come on, bro. You know, like just that. That's it. Just Blink. come on, bro. Blink. Tell him, dude. Blink. I'm, Tell him. I'm, you gotta, I'm, you're not going to back me up? You're I'm not, not saying nothing no more. I'm scared. Don't, don't. Do it. <laughs> So anyways everything was great everything's great i'm fine everybody i'm fine don't worry about me i'm okay guys it's so we, okay so we knocked out a few more uh, obstacles here hopefully you guys have been enjoying it those six door jeeps are awesome um kc and uh mr bd mark they're <laughs> completely killing it uh definitely broncos are putting on a show here at ledges um what else can you you know what else can you ask for i um didn't get to drive my rig out here but now i wish i did because I'm getting mad judged out here for not having a freaking rig and just walking around with the camera like some douchebag. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to finish up ledges. We'll air up. We'll close it out. And uh, we survived, dude. We survived. Look at this full fun asleep. <laughs> Damn, I'm tired, bro. We're out of here. All righty, team. So we actually pulled out of uh, the location where we were at. We didn't even air down. We just drove into the house. But look at, dude, the sick-ass pad we got. Um, if you guys ever want to come out to some of the runs that we do, we normally do kind of team up and rent a crib. So just want to show you guys kind of what we got into. The house out here in uh, Utah are pretty sick. Uh, ledges, again, was amazing. Hitting all those hard lines and making it through some of those books. Like some of the tougher ones. I mean, shout out to Mark for gripping and getting her up there man because that little line at the mousetrap is it's not for a faint of heart um but yeah man we're gonna close out the video here this is day three winter jabberie has been awesome it's a wrap for today tomorrow i'm not sure if we're gonna be wheeling with anybody from uh winter jabberie we might do our own thing so i can get some pictures and whatnot but appreciate you guys sticking around make sure you like comment and subscribe follow us on instagram youtube patreon all that good stuff and if we did see you on the trail thank you guys for your patience and letting us film everything hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as well make sure you keep sharing it and uh tell a friend to tell a friend but we're out of here day four is tomorrow um we're again we're not really sure if we're gonna do a full episode or not but winter jamboree if you are free next year make sure you show up support them they help keep san hollow and utah running for all the ohv people that love it um casey you got anything for the people no man we out here we're doing it we're making bronco believers every day baby that's right so we're out of here we'll see you guys next time